it's fine, it's fine. fine. Let me just see what comes out. Exactly. Can we do that? <laughs> Don't ever put me on live TV. Hi, I'm Nicola Joss, Declare's skincare ambassador and celebrity facialist. And today I want to talk to you about facial massage. It's what I'm known for, and I'm going to teach you some tricks and tips to get the best at home facial massage. It's really important to massage your face. It improves the tone and the texture of your skin. It encourages lymphatic drainage, which will improve any puffiness. It gives a plumpness to the skin. It trains the muscles to sit in a better contour, so it gives you more sculpted contours, and it feels great. So everyone asks me, how often should I massage? I recommend every single day, but sometimes in the morning, we haven't got the time. So do a quick massage with your cleanse in the morning, but at bedtime is when you can take a little bit more time to massage your skin. I prefer using an oil, but a balm is as good, whatever texture you prefer. I'm going to use, to show you the techniques that I do at home, a rose oil by Declare. It's one of my favourites and actually it's really good for sensitive skins. So have your day, come home in the evening, use your normal skincare and then at bedtime, I always keep some oil by the side of the bed. You're nice and relaxed just before you go to sleep. Drop a few bits of oil onto the palms of your hand, focusing on these fingers, your first two fingers, and then press the oil onto your face. You want to deliver the oil gently onto the face. So just applying with the palms, neck, and then you can go from shoulder to shoulder, gently sweeping across the chest area. So it's essential to start warming up the muscles. That will remove tension and stress. It will also help to stimulate the lymphatic system, which will help drain any fluids and puffiness from the day. It's also really good for helping to eradicate any pollution that's been sitting in the skin. Take your hands and then sweeping across the face from the center outwards and upwards. From the forehead all the way up to the hairline. And again, sweeping. From the side of the neck, sweep all the way across to the opposite shoulder. You can do each movement about six times. If you've got a little bit longer, do some more, 10, 12 times, sweeping all the way across. So let's concentrate on the jawline first. Take these two fingers, palms out the way, and get the jawbone in between your two fingers. You want to sweep. Use some pressure so you can feel any tension and stress that's sitting in the jawline. This is also going to stimulate the lymphatic system as well and help with drainage. So once you've done that about 12 times, let's say, bend the knuckles and do the same movement. This will go even deeper, all the way up to the, the base of the ears. And you really feel any tension and stress in those muscles. This will help to keep the jawline firm and tight and help to improve any sagging in the lower part of the cheeks. So the next movement is cheekbones. Take these two fingers, find the base of the cheekbone and make a V. Sweeping in and out. What you really want to do is improve the contours here. Again, you'll feel any tension and stress that sits under the cheekbones. If your nails are a little bit long, and it's a tricky one to do, use the heels of the palms of the hand. Gently open your mouth and find your cheekbone. Use the heels of the palms like a shelf, and then drop your head into your hands. Now you can sit like that for 10 seconds. You'll feel the pressure lifting along the cheekbones. Then you lift your hands up, holding the hands here, and roll the base of the palms under the cheekbone area. Okay, then we go back to sweeping. This will encourage some drainage and some lymphatic stimulation. All the time, easing off any muscle tension. We finish by draining, stimulating the lymphatic system. There's lots of nodules sitting here, lymph nodes, and they're like seaweed, so when you stimulate them, 
all the fluids will run through and eventually flush through the body. So we want to stimulate all those fluids, any puffiness that's happened through the day, any tension, any pollution that's sitting in the skin, and then draw all the way to the opposite shoulder. Same on this side, and all the way across. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make your eyes wide awake, take any puffiness away, and do a really easy massage on the eye area. I like to use a gel because it's nice and light and tends to have a cooling effect. So anything with a really sheer texture is going to be good on the skin. Using these two fingers, so your index finger and your middle fingers, gently pat under the eye area. And then taking the index finger, support the skin at the corner of the eyes. Use your middle finger to sweep in and out, stimulating the lymphatic system under the eye area, pushing circulation and nutrients and oxygen into that area, as well as encouraging your own production of hyaluronic acid to keep that hydration levels optimized underneath, but draining any fluids, so removing any puffiness. Go up onto the eyebrow and using some more pressure, push along that muscle. The softer the muscle is, the more toned it will be and the higher it will sit. And then finish with a little tapping. Now if you're really, really tired or your eyes are puffy and you haven't had enough sleep, I like to use this little trick. If you have an ice cube tray at home, and especially if you've got an eye product that has a lovely sheer texture to it, put a couple of drops into the ice cube pot, put it in the freezer, and then a couple of hours later you can take it out and you'll have an ice cube of eye product that will immediately soothe and deep off the eye area. Put it into a little muslin square if you have one and then gently work in a circular motion around the eyes. It's really soothing and it will immediately make your eyes look wide awake and bright.